shocking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. On first and ten, Winston. Over the middle, he finds Godwin complete. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And the hitch route has run really well. That jab step off the line of scrimmage by the receiver, which is designed to back up the defender and give him a little bit of space. All you want there, get that space, catch the football, and then make a move and pick up extra yardage. And that's exactly what he got done there. Jameis to throw it. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Sims, and he'll get this down only to the 18. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend, show that he's right. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Winston now to throw on first down. Throw right side, taken in by Godwin. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Working out of the gun, Winston. He gets it to Humphreys. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Jameis now over 200 yards already in this first half. It's first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Winston. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Cameron Jordan in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. Second down, Winston. And break, the tight end's got it. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Ready, blue lady. On third down, that's Sims. Looking for an opening, not much there. He'll get it to the 39. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. Oh, he takes it in, doesn't let it bounce. He takes it at the two. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll check in for the first time with the newest member of our Madden family, it's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. We'll All right, we will say. with Sims and he's able to take this one up to the 35 yard line give him 10 yards on the pickup and that'll make it second and a foot or so now that was an excellent run and when you see that happen that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more offensive linemen and tight ends they're expected to block but the wide receivers all they want to do is catch passes so when offense. they block on a big time running play and create extra space you've got to hit the jackpot there Still second down. Ready. 
Now Jameis on second down. That's complete. Middle of the field to Humphreys. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. To throw is Winston. Complete. He finds Bray. The chalk that one up is a gain of 34 on third down. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. The play fake to Sims, now Winston. This is caught, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Deshaun Jackson. Drive begins here with Sims. And he'll be dropped at the 30. And a shifty move got him a couple extra on the play. Tackle there by Alex Anzalone. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Now a second down throw for Winston. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. well. That was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Winston now 13 of 16 throwing the football. It's first and 10. Now Sims. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Now we're going to get a timeout. Appears we've got an injured Buccaneer. Huh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. So in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Here's Winston. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. The tight end, Cameron Brait, was the target. And that'll bring up second down. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Winston. He's got his tight end over the middle, O.J. Howard. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And, partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. The Bucks on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and six. Ready. From the gun, Winston. Staying on his feet. And he took the contact as he was throwing it. And the ball drops incomplete. They certainly thought they had him surrounded and probably thought they were going to get him on the ground and get the sack, but he was able to elude that. And even though it threw it incomplete downfield, if you're a defensive back, you're loving the pressure that you're seeing from your front. The first down throw for Winston. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Trying to erase that deficit all at once. One big shot. He took it. Unfortunately for him, incomplete. Ready. Ready. Oh, 
On second down, Winston again. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. They give him a gain of 37. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator is looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the play. Oh, no, he lost the football. And this is picked up by the Saints. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And last time the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of it, it was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they felt they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with. Defensively after having time to talk it over. Throwing. Winston. Throw left side complete. It's Sims. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. At five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. They'll look to throw. And Boyd has it over the middle. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. He'll look to throw. That's exactly what they were looking for. If they get another gain like that, they'll be right there in field goal range. And the tension building. It'll be a three-yard gain, and it's a second down. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. The Buccaneer first, Winston DeBray. First down now, but that clock rolling. Okay, there's three timeouts left, right? Think you got to use one here, don't no you? No doubt about it. I'd use one right here. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Back to throw. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Third and long coming up defensively. You pressure the quarterback or drape all over the passing lane? Yes. That's exactly so what you do. It's both because they're not mutually exclusive. They may have been at one time in football, but not anymore. You want to have that pressure. If you have a big-time pass rusher, send him after the quarterback and then make sure you blanket the field. Throwing the out route and complete. It's Jackson. 15 yards through the air and a first down. He has been terrific today, hasn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Running flawless two-minute drill right here. This has been quarterbacking 101 with a flourish. So they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete <laughs> a pass like happened there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's throwing it leads him to believe that he's going to get those. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Cameron Jordan in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. He's back to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. What a great sequence by this defense so far. They've given him nowhere to go with the football. And they just have to make it stand up one more time because it appears that they've got their number. Can they not have a slip up here and allow the touchdown? Ready. Back to throw. And Crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off inside the 10. And this one will be brought back to the 22. And partner, this first week, this first game that we get to call together, so special every year, week one. You had the flyover, the big American flag out there before the game.